Yo, look at this. What? Let me look at this. Ah, I don't even know how I got here, bro. I don't want to turn this video into some sad, you know, sappy shit, but even there on the date. I want love, bro. I want love. You know, a lot of girls here in Miami, I, I've said this in videos, but yo, a lot of these chicks are not worth it here, man. It's just, it's very materialistic, very superficial type stuff. So I want love. And you know, a lot of these girls, like I said, are very superficial. And like, if you don't have money or you're not tall or some super extravagant shit, you're not gonna really get her, man. And it's so sad. Do I need to sit? Let me go actually sit down and talk to you guys. Cause I feel like, I'm just riding around in circles and I don't know what's going on. So. I wasn't expecting this video to turn so sad. You know, I really was, I really, honestly, I wasn't coming out here to make a video and I'm still surprised. I'm, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this or not because this is literally just on my phone. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm not doing anything. And people are looking at me like I'm crazy because I literally have the flash in me sitting at a random, I look crazy. You know, looking at the optics, I look pretty ridiculous right now. I want love, genuine love, you know. I. If you guys are new to the channel, um, I, I come from a pretty small town. I come from Mississippi, good old Mississippi. Um, but Mississippi is very small town life. It's very different. You know, the big city, Miami, especially. God, God, Miami. It's not much love going around. Every girl, for some reason, wants to party, you know, drink, smoke, that type of thing. And it's just like, can we do anything else but go to Sexy Fish or go to Poppy Steak? Or go to this other five class dinner. Like, can we just relax in the bed and chill? What happened to Netflix and chill? I remember that was a meme. What happened to that? You know, it, it was a meme for a reason. Things get popular for a reason. You know, I miss the days where we just sat back, something like this. I'll take a girl to the bench. But these days, girls don't want to go to the bench, bro. They want to send the bench, not the bench, the bleachers. In the NBA star game. Like, I don't want to take you to the NBA star game every other weekend. Like, can we just sit in for once? Oh, my God, you're boring. Like, I don't know. I'm really just sitting here ranting in the dark. It's very difficult to live as a, especially 20 year old guy, you know, in my early 20s. I'm 22. I don't know why I said 20. That was stupid, but I'm 22. It's very hard to live in your early 20s, especially in a city like Miami, because as I said, Miami is a very superficial city. A lot of girls here are very materialistic. It is very true. You know, if you ever watch Fresh and Fit, if you are, you know, one of those guys, don't, hey, don't be shamed. I was one of those guys at one point. I literally remember waking up so excited to watch a fresh and fit episode oh my god six hour podcast let's fucking go i was one of those guys so don't be ashamed i'm here with you what is that is that a fucking yacht that's what i'm talking about bro it's, it's too many guys like that so okay there that, thank you for doing that for me bro so a reason the girls are very materialistic here is not i honestly i don't blame them because as you guys hear and see behind me it's a fucking yacht and that's not the only yacht every for some reason, it seems like everybody and their mom and dog has a yacht here. Like, if you go to Brooklyn, especially, Brooklyn is the financial district for anybody that doesn't know. And you know, if you don't know what financial means, uh, just money, basically. Money, green, paper, whatever you want to call it. Everybody has a yacht in Brooklyn. I mean that. I'm not being facetious. I'm not even being hyperbolic. I promise you, like, everybody has a yacht. I don't know how. Some people are renting them. I don't know how much it costs to rent a yacht. I'm not even gonna attempt, like, yo, I'm barely affording rent. Like, what the fuck I look like going to the, the goddamn yacht? Sorry, I'm cussing a lot. Let me talk. Let me stop that for this shit. It's demonetized. I cuss again. You know, that's just me. Let's just be me. Then there's a G Wagon just riding on by. <laughs> and then a Porsche. <laughs> yo, like, I hate the pocket watch, but bro, what the fuck? Give me one. Give me, can I get one? Uh, why am I out here at 10 o'clock ranching in the park? This is why, I'm, this is probably why I'm single. This is probably why it is. Now I've realized I'm a pretty weird guy. I literally make videos on the internet and I talk to myself majority of the time. Like, guys, this is a sad fact. I talk to you more and you know, it's not a bad thing, I guess, because I do love you guys, but I talk to you guys more than I talk to anybody in my personal life, even my own family at some points, because I do live like 20 hours away from my family, so it does get kind of hard to talk to my family. You know, even though I do, I want to, it's just when you, you know, in a big city and, you know, things are moving so fast, you don't really have time to slow down and go back to that small town life. Because as, as I said before, I do live in Mississippi. Uh, well, I lived in Mississippi, so my parents are very used to just a slow town life, but, but you know, I've accustomed to you know this you know you can probably hear the fucking disco going off right now i, I got accustomed 
which is probably not a good thing. It's probably gonna mess me up mentally in the future, but I've gotten accustomed to like the big city life. And I guess, I don't know, maybe Miami's the wrong city to base my perceptions on what like life is. Well, I know it is. Miami is not real. It's a, this is a fake city. We're gonna get into that in another video probably. But Miami is not a real city. It is Instagram in real life, on, really. It is, it's basically Instagram and I don't like that. I don't even use Instagram. You know, if you do want to follow me, it's in the link down below. If you are too lazy to scroll down, you're just into the content too much. It's Ty Dent, two Y's, T-Y-Y, Dent, D-E-N-T. Look me up. Um, I don't, it's not a Porsche. Let me not talk you guys' head off for too long because it is going to get too late. I don't want to be the loser that's out here, but um, I do want to finish. So, you know, I understand I am a pretty weird guy. I make videos on the internet, talk to myself, you know. So it does, what I do, it's not traditionally... I don't want to say masculine, but it's not traditionally normal. Like I'm a pretty out of normal guy, which is not a bad thing. You know, when you get, you know, when, when the channel blows up, it's going to be seen as, oh, Ty is cool now. He's a YouTuber. I understand how that works, but it is, does still kind of feel fucked up when, when you're at the bottom, you feel, you get put down or laughed at or clowned on. But then when you get to the top, it's always like, oh, you got lucky or, yo, can I get on your podcast? Let me get on your show, bro, please. Like, where was that love at when I was at, you know, a thousand subs, bro? Where were you at then? <sighs> Let me get out of here. Shit. Let me get out of here. Um, I'm probably going to ride around a little bit more. But, yo, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like these random pull my phone out kind of videos. This was kind of cool. This kind of video, this is my first time doing something like this. It's pretty fun. I really don't want to get murdered here, bro. I'm a black guy in the middle of the forest. This is every horror movie ever made let me get about here kind of like this little format you know it's fun and it's really like my deep thoughts because when i do a like an actual youtube video this i don't want to say it's fake because it's not it's still me but i do create it in a way my youtube videos aren't as i don't want to say authentic because that sounds so fucking wrong but you know what i'm trying to say like, it's not as like it's more thought out you know i actually think okay what do i want to talk about what i'm gonna do but this was like literally just in the cups randomly uh, i'm riding around let me just sit down and talk whatever i'm thinking so let me know if you guys kind of like this format. I kind of like it. It's kind of fun. I don't know. It might do terrible in the analytics. We'll see. If, if, if the video flops, you'll never see this, something like this ever again. I promise you that. But love you guys. See you guys in the next video. I don't even know if I'm going to edit this or not. This might not even go up. But if it does, you are a very special person. I want to thank you for watching because this life that I'm living was literally my dream life when I was a kid. Living in... I want to say Miami, but it was really New York. Hey, come on. Have you seen the New York vlogs? Uh, but my dream was to live in a big city, you know, do YouTube. And for the past month, it felt like I was doing it for full time. You know, I've got, you know, fired from my job. So, like, you know, I've really been doing YouTube full time, technically, doing three videos a week. And I've really been enjoying it. It's like this, I, like this was like a sneak peek into what's to come. And I like it. You know, it's fun. I love this. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. See you in the next vid. Love you so much. Love you a bunch. Goodbye. Kapoosh. And somebody help me find love. I want love. All right. Peace.